Hi guys, it's Techzilla back again with another phone war. This time I'm comparing the three big boys. The Honor Note 8, the Xiaomi Mi Mix and the Huawei Mate 9. I want to break this down to categories. I'm not going to go into too much details. Um, if you want to see the actual details of each phone, then watch. The, I'll leave links to their actual reviews up at the top somewhere. Um, you can watch that instead. Let's start off with price. Honor Note 8 starts at £360. Xiaomi Mi Mix, this is the 4 gig version. I thought it would be fairer to compare that in this. Um, that costs around £660. And the Huawei Mate 9 is around £600, £630. Pounds. Roughly. I'll leave links to where you can buy all of these from in the description below. Um, so value for money. The Honor Note 8 takes it, in my opinion. Well, it's not opinion, it's fact. That's the best value for money out of the three. Next, let's talk about build, size, dimensions, etc. Now, this is the big, big boy, this one. This is the Honor Note 8. Now this is 178.8 millimeters in length. It's 90.9 millimeter, uh, 90.9 millimeters in width, and it's only 7.2 millimeters thick. So it's quite a thin phone, considering the size. But it can afford to be because of how much footprint it's got. Now the actual Mi Mix, this beauty here. This is 158.8 millimeters in length, 81.9 millimeters in width, and it's 7.9 millimeters thick. So it's slightly thicker than the Honor Note 8, but it's considerably shorter in length, and its width is less as, of, uh, as well, of course. Now the Huawei Mate 9. This is 156.9 millimeters in length and it's 78.9 millimeters in width and this is also 7.9 millimeters in thickness as you can see here. So comparably size wise these two are near enough the same size. There's, you can actually probably see it right here. They're not actually too much different in size. Um, the Mi Mix, remember I've got cases on guys because I've got slippery hands at the moment. Uh, the Mi Mix is a bit taller, but only a bit. You know, we're talking, what, two millimeters taller? And the width of it, the Mi Mix is, what, three millimeters, four millimeters wider? So it's not a huge difference. So if you're looking for something more petite, the Huawei Mate 9 is the smallest overall in dimension. Um, then followed by the Mi Mix, then followed by the Honor Note 8. Now, there's reasons for that. Before I go into those reasons, let's talk about weight. This weighs in at 219 grams. The Mi Mix weighs in at a whopping 209 grams. And the Huawei Mate 9 is 190 grams. So this is a lot lighter than the other two. And this being the heaviest. But it is the biggest device here. So it kind of makes sense. They stagger up in size. And they stagger up in weight. Now let's talk about the actual build quality as well now. This is an all metal phone. As you can see here. Beautifully made. Lovely. But this is the official Huawei Mate 9 um, flip case. I'll be reviewing this soon, so definitely subscribe to my channel if you've got a Mate 9 and you're interested. But this is an all metal uh, body, and the bezels on the top and bottom are not that bad. Um, it comes in different colors uh, gold, pink, I think, silver. Um, I've got it in the uh, space gray, as they call it, with the black front because it hides those ugly bezels, which Chinese phone manufacturers seem to love, I don't know why. 
Um, the same with the Auto Note 8, it's an all metal device. All metal. Again, you know, look at the front of that. This is in gold, and again, this can come in um, silver and in gold. Uh, but the winner for me in this competition here is the Xiaomi Mi Mix. I'll tell you that why right now. Um, I'll just show you the 18 karat gold version right here. The entire body is made of ceramic. Very hard ceramic. With a Mohs um, scale rate, scratch resistant rating of um, 8 I believe. So it's very scratch resistant. But it's also very brittle. So if you drop it it will break very very easily. So just to give you some idea. So for me the winner in looks and in the looks department has got to be the Mi Mix 100% I think everyone will agree with me on that um, now let's talk about cameras now what I've done here is I've actually going to show you some photos and videos I've taken using each device so you can compare the different shots and the different video clips with each other um, I'll give you a quick rundown the Honor Note 8 um, has a 13 megapixel camera on the back um, just look at my cheat sheet right now it has a 5 megapixel camera on the front um, it doesn't shoot in 4k no 4k video in this okay and there's no OIS or EIS either that's just a rough I don't want to go into too much detail because the video will take forever the Xiaomi Mi Mix that runs at uh, runs a um, oh where's my cheat sheet gone here? That's got a 16 megapixel camera on the back with an f 2.0. Um, a lot of people seem to think this has got electronic image stabilization. Well, if it has, it's not the best. It's okay, but it's not the best. Um, you'll see from the videos. And the front camera on this is located at the bottom right here because of its screen dimension um, so the front camera on this is also a 5 megapixel um, again there seems to be confusion as to about 8 megapixel in the front or it could be I don't know it's 5 megapixel as far as I'm concerned it's the quality of 5 megapixel now with the this is where it's interesting the Mate 9 this is the only one that's got a dual camera setup so it's got a 20 megapixel camera on the back as well as a 12 megapixel camera um, I believe it's f 2.2 so not as good as the other two phones here in that respect but it does have OIS it's got two times optical zoom it's a, a Leica optics which they're famous in the camera industry for good quality lenses Phase detection, laser autofocus, dual LED uh, flash, um, and the front facing camera, the selfie camera, right there, that is comes in at 8 megapixels with an f1.8, and that records, I believe, up to 110, 1080 uh, p. Out of all three cameras, it's a no brainer, this wins it without shadow of a doubt the Mi Mix when I first got it, it did have a problem with focus in videos what would happen is you'd zoom in to, you'd film a, um, a shot or film some video footage they had this weird pulse thing going on you can see in my review I showed a clip of uh, some video as I took um, so it pulsed in and out which is really annoying um, but as I said I've done some videos and some photos which I'm going to put up right now and I'm going to shut up I'll label each one so you know which phone it's come from and you you be the judge of which one you think's best. It's a mixture of moving videos, stationary videos, um, macro shots, um, dark shots, um, using the flash in a blackened out room and selfies. So you get an idea. So I'll, leave, I'll do that right now for you guys. <laughs>
this is a quick video using the Mi Mix. Holding the camera stationary, what do you think? This is a quick stationary test using the Honor Note 8. What do you guys think? Let me know. This is a quick video testing the camera on the Mate 9. What do you think guys? Right guys, I hope you enjoyed those video and photo clips. Let me know in the comments below which one you preferred. Um, all done in auto mode. Um, I thought that's the fairest way of doing it because, let's be honest, most people are going to use auto mode. Now let's talk about the screens on these monsters. Let's start with the Honor Note 8. This is a 6.6 .6 inch um, Super AMOLED um, screen it's made by samsung for honor which is especially for this device actually um, it's got 1440 by 2560 pixels and it's got a ppi of 443 for any of, any of you who care now the mi mix that's a very special screen because as you can see it's bezel-less or virtually bezel-less this screen is only a 1080p uh, 1080 by 2040 pixels 6.4 inches across um, and it's IPS uh, display as well and it's got a 362 pixel uh, pixels per inch now the Mate 9 let's go into that one that's also a 1080p screen which is 1080 by 1920 though this um, the reason this one this is a 1920 and this is a 2040 is because this one they made it a 17 by 9 aspect ratio this is your traditional 16 by 9 the reason why Xiaomi made this slightly uh, different is because they said if it was a 16 by 9 it gives the phone a more square appearance rather than this elongated uh, screen that people are used to so this one's actually a 1080 by 1920 pixels 5.9 inch IPS display uh, LCD and this one is also 373 ppi so out of the three that's got the lowest ppi but it's a bezel -less screen the uh, mate 9 for me is a bit of a letdown i wish they'd put a 2k screen in but it is what it is and this one for me the honor note 8 wins it hands down biggest screen it's the only one with a 2k resolution it's got the highest PPI, even though it's got the biggest screen. Um, and I, I prefer Super AMOLED to IPS. That's just my opinion. You might differ. So for me, the Honor Note 8 wins it, hands down. Hands down, guys. You can see with your own eyes, this is a much better screen. Now, let's talk about battery. The Honor Note 8. Is has got a 4500 milliamp hour battery. The Xiaomi Mi Mix that's got a 4400 milliamp hour battery, and the Huawei Mate 9 that's only got a 4000 milliamp hour battery. So these two are very close. This is only 100 milliamp hours less than the Honor Note 8. Now, what do I think? Now let's go into facts, right? They both, they're all free charge very quick. You're talking, this is probably the faster charging, but then it's got small battery. So I don't really want to talk about the charging speeds. They've all got fast charge capabilities. Um, but like I said, they're all different battery sizes. So it's very hard to gauge and compare charging times. Um, but let's talk about standby time, stuff like that. With the Honor Note 8, no problem. You're going to get two days standby easy. And I mean easily with this phone. This also gives me at least 10 hours screen on time per charge. So that means I can loop a video at 1080p, run it at 50% brightness, which I've tested all of these, and that gives me a solid 10 hours without fail. Um, if I push it, I could probably get 11 hours maybe out of it. Uh, the Xiaomi Mi Mix and the Mate, Huawei Mate 9 they both give good standby time 
Um, this probably gives a slightly better standby time than the Huawei Mate 9, but not considerably, where it's worth mentioning. Um, but this will give me seven to eight hours screen on time, and the Huawei Mate 9 also gives me, well, that probably gives you around seven hours screen on time. So the winner here is the Honor Note 8 once again. You see a pattern forming here, guys. So for battery, um, standby time and screen on time is definitely the Honor Note 8 without a shadow of a doubt. Now let's talk about um, memory. This one, the Honor Note 8, comes with a um, 128 gigabytes onboard storage and it can take a micro SD card up to 256 gigs. The Xiaomi Mi Mix, the 4 gig version, comes with 128 gigabytes built in storage. You cannot expand that. And the Huawei Mate 9 comes in the 4 gig version, comes with 100, uh, sorry, 64 gigabytes built in storage, but it can take a micro SD card. So the winner here, without a shadow of a doubt, again, is the Honor Note 8. It comes with as high a uh, built-in storage as the considerably more expensive Mi Mix, but it's also expandable, as is the Mate 9. The Mate 9 only comes in in this configuration with 64 gigs. Really, for the price you're paying for this, it should have at least, let's be honest, it should have had at least 128 gigs built in. Um, <clears throat> so winner, the Honor Note 8 once again. Um, let's talk about processors now. The Honor, um, the, the Note, let's call it the Note 8, I'm tired of saying Honor constantly. The Note 8, that comes with the Kirin 955 um, processor, uh, or CPU if you want to call it that. Um, it's an octa-core. Uh, this is Huawei's top of the range processor up until about a month ago. So, very reliable processor. This comes with the Snap Snapdragon uh, 821 processor with uh, four gigs, they're all four gigabytes RAM, by the way, so I'm not gonna say that again. Um, but the Mi Mix comes with a Snapdragon 821 chipset. Um, this is the higher clocked version at 2.35 gigahertz with an Adreno 530 GPU. This one is a beast. The Huawei Mate 9, that comes in with the new Kirin 960 processor. Again, octa-core with four times four 2.4 gigahertz uh, chipset. And it's got a Mali G71 8, uh, MP8. What does that mean? They all fly. They're all very good performers. Um, now on uh, the Antutu benchmark score, this come out at around about 110. So this is about 110. The Xiaomi Mi Mix came out at around about 140,000. This is 110,000, this is 140,000. And this beast here came in at around about 160,000. So, highest performing is the Kirin 960. The Huawei Mate 9 is the screamer out of the three. But in real world usage, none of them are slouches. You're not going to notice any slowdown. They all run pretty much any game, anything you chuck at them, they run it without any hang ups, no problem. So, you, you're going to have an issue with that. But that's on paper. In reality, I actually find the Xiaomi Mi Mix to feel faster and more fluid. I'm going to do a quick sound comparison between the three devices. Um, so you can hear for yourself. I'll play a clip from one of my YouTube videos. So you can all hear them and see what you think. Let's start off with the Honor Note 8. One of my videos.
Hi guys, it's Techzilla back again with another review. This time I've got an exclusive. It's the thinnest bumper case for the iPhone 7 Plus in the world. Now let's do the Xiaomi Mi Mix real quick. Hi guys, it's Techzilla back again with another review. This time I've got an exclusive. It's the thinnest bumper case for the iPhone 7 Plus in the world. They also make this for the iPhone 7. Now let's do the Huawei Mate 9. Hi guys, it's Techzilla back again with another review. This time I've got an exclusive. It's the thinnest bumper case for the iPhone 7 Plus in the world. They also make this for the iPhone. So what do you guys think of that? Let me know. Which one did sound better for you? I'd love to get your opinion guys. This is a dual speaker on the Mate 9. So one at the bottom, one in the earpiece. Single bottom firing speaker, single bottom firing speaker. This one and this one, they go louder than the Mate 9. I don't know why that is, but these two definitely get louder than this, even though this is a dual speaker setup. Technically, because it's a dual speaker setup, it's meant it should be better. Now let's talk about the headphone jacks. They've all got 3.5mm headphone jacks. I'll show you that right here, right there. They all got them on the top, which is an annoying place to put them. Put it because, see that one there? Now, this is an interesting one. And there. Now what I found was, and I'm quite an audiophile when it comes down to it. This sounds very good through the headphone and the speaker here. Very nice quality. Not bad at all. This one is not bad either. Really good quality sound um, from the speakers and the headphone. The problem we, I have here is now, when this reaches, when you've got headphones plugged into here, it actually starts to distort at the right at the top when you really chucking out the the high volume so this starts to distort at around about 80 85 percent volume through the headphones this one doesn't distort but it's louder and it's clearer but this is more detailed now for me the winner here without a shadow of a doubt is the xiaomi mi mix no one talks about the dac and the music quality through the headphones of this phone no one does i don't know why this DAC is amazing. The sound quality you get from headphones using this phone is outstanding. We're talking HTC 10 levels here. This beats out the G, um, LG V20. To me, this is at the level of the HTC 10. Easy. And it gets louder than the HTC 10. Um, I can only have the volume on this up to around 60% and it will hurt my ears because it's so strong. So powerful that the amp will into this phone. So for me, when it comes down to speakers, these, even though they're dual speaker, they don't sound as good as, say, an iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, they don't sound as good as the HTC 10 um, or any other phone that's got that configuration set up. They're not bad, but they're not as good either. Um, stereo separation is, this here is too weak, really, personally. Um, you all know what I mean when you get it. Um, this is not as strong, this speaker, as I thought it should be. So that to me is an issue. Um, but definitely, hands down, this wins it in the headphone department. Easy. Xiaomi Mimic. If your music's important, get this one. Um, I believe this one plays 24-bit uh, rate um, tracks. I reproduce them in 24-bit. Um, 196 kilohertz, I think. I haven't got my I haven't got it written on my cheat sheet, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So for me, the Xiaomi Remix wins that one. Now with the signal, I would say the and core quality and so on. This wins, and this gives you the best reception out of all three phones without a shadow of a doubt. Um, the only thing that's better than this, in fact, this is equal to the Pixel XL in reception. Period. 
Um, the other two, they're not bad at all. You don't have, you're not going to have any issue with it, but that gives you the strongest reception. So phone calls are important to you. The Honor Note 8 wins it. Um, the Mi Mix, because it's got this piezoelectric, whatever it is they call it in there, that vibrates, it's not going to give you as good a sound quality as the other two when it comes to phone calls. It's a slightly muffled sound, but you're not going to have issue with it. It's just not as good sounding as the other two. So I thought I'd throw that out there for you guys, because that's obviously important. Now let's move on to something again, which some of you might find silly, but I don't. Is I think it's important. This is made only for the Chinese market. So is the Xiaomi Mi Mix, where the Mate 9 is going to be released globally um, for everyone. Basically, it's going to be released in the States, in the UK, and so on, and in Europe. What does that mean? This is hard to set up. This is harder to set up. This one is the easiest to set up. Now, if you're a bit technically minded like I am, you'll be able to get these working, no problem. This tutorial's how to do it. It's straightforward, you can get it done. This already, this has got no Chinese apps built into it. These two have. Um, you have to do work. Well, this has the yellow pages tab, um, which I've got rid of in the dialer. Um, so that these two have got a lot more work that need doing than this. This is a lot easier to plug and play, as I like to call it. Just thought I'd throw that out there for you guys, but it is what it is. These are not released for out. They're not available officially outside of China. But you can import them as I say, I'll leave links below. This is the best value for money. This is the best all rounder. This is the most sexy out of the three. So if, if you're looking for value for money, you're on a note eight all the way. If you're looking for flash, and I mean flash looking, beautiful, beautiful phone, futuristic design, Xiaomi Mi Mix all the way. If you're looking for a good all-rounder, the Huawei Mate 9. Now let's talk about features real quick. On a Note 8, it's got more features. If you want to see what they are, look at my review. Um, but this has got, even though these are the same companies, this has got more features than the Huawei Mate 9. This has got the least features. This has got split screen, so is this, this doesn't. This is running Android 7.0. This is still running on Marshmallow and so is this. The update for this is imminent and I believe the update for this is also imminent. Also worth mentioning, Chinese market only, Chinese market only. This is going to get a global release. I actually imported it but it comes with, this is the international version, it comes with an um, English power brick. So those of you in the UK, no issue at all. Straight out of the box, this is plug and play the easiest because it comes with. In fact, the guy I buy these from, he installs English and he'll install the Play Store for you on all of them. But this one doesn't really have any Chinese bloatware where the other two do. But if you're technically minded, you can remove that bloatware, no problem. Um, some apps won't work correctly on this. There's only a few I found that don't work properly. Um, but they're not ones that are major for me at the moment. Like the Gear S3, it's a bit, I don't know, it's, it works, but you can't use the App Store, the Galaxy App Store with this phone. I don't know why, it just doesn't work. Um, Play Store, that won't work on this, it will not allow it. The other two, I haven't found any apps that don't work on this, and there's no apps that don't work on this. It's just this one that gives you a slight problem. The what you can do is flash the EU ROM or the global ROM onto this phone. They are available. You have to search them down. I haven't done it because for review purposes, I like to keep it stock. So again, this is this and this. They're more difficult to sort of set up, if you like. That's that's already pre-set up. But when you work at it, you get them how you want them. You love them, especially the Honor Note 8. So let's let's roll let's round this up real quick because it's gone on for way too long. Best value for money, best screen. Um, this one's the most beautiful, most flashy. 
um, more future, most futuristic, more technically advanced. This one's the best all rounder, um, and this one also will ha get more accessories than these two. This you are so hard to find cases for them. I've got this, for example. I'll be reviewing that, um, but you will struggle for accessories um, for that this phone. When this is released, you'll get more accessories. Uh, shout out to Deepak um, on the Tech Talk group. He's actually sending me the Spigen Rugged Armor from Italy. He's shipping it out to me because I can't get it in the UK for this phone. But none of the big accessory makers make anything for these two devices. This is the official case for the Honor Note 8. That's the official case, leather case, that comes in the box. I'll show you that here, my other one. That comes in the box. That's probably the best case for the Mi Mix at the moment. So what do you, what do you guys think? Have I missed anything? I'm pretty sure I've covered everything. Let me know in the comments below. What would you pick? That is the that is the key here. Which one would you pick? This, this, or this? I'd love to know. Um, it's quite important to me actually. I'm doing a bit of research on it. But this has been the battle of the big boys. It's gone on longer than I wanted it to. But I wanted to be really, really detailed in what I'm talking about. So you guys can make up your own mind. Um, cheapest. Second most expensive, most expensive. So this is Techzilla saying, subscribe to my channel. I'll leave a circle thing right here. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. I really hope this helped you make up your own minds. And remember, like and share this video with others. Because no one else on YouTube will have done this comparison. I guarantee you. So Techzilla saying, take care. Have a good day. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.